Good morning, Fellowship Highcrest. My name is Trisha, and this is Jumpstart. I will be reading today from Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. It says, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. For the whole law can be summed up in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. But if you are always biting and devouring one another, watch out. Beware of destroying one another. This passage is packed. I feel like there's so many different things I could talk about through this. But one of the first things that really kind of caught my attention was just that um, line, live in freedom. So I read a little bit earlier up in the passage, and it was talking about how they used to have to live by the law. And the law was before the time of Jesus that they had to like follow all of these strict regulations and restrictions to, to be holy, to be righteous. And when um, Christ came, he devoured the law. He did it all so they could be free from that law, which they could never satisfy. Um, You know, and so I was thinking about a situation that I'm kind of muddling through in my life. And um, in true therapist form, I was reflecting on it and kind of challenged to what was the emotion that I was experiencing. And I realized it was hopeless, hopelessness. And... uh, true therapist form what's under the emotion right um i sorry so i started writing what were the thoughts that were feeding that emotion and the thoughts were something along the lines of i don't know what to do to fix it i feel helpless i can't change it and um it struck me how much i was the focal point of that thought process and that emotion and it just dawned on me how much i was putting my hope in my own abilities to make things right or to change or to cause change. And anytime I'm gonna put my hope in myself, it's it's not gonna go well, it's gonna fall flat. And so that just reminded me of this because with following the law, I, I can only imagine how hopeless they must have felt because their hope was in their abilities to earn their righteousness. And God destroyed that for us, thank goodness, right? Um, He came to fulfill the law so we could live free. That's cool, that's really cool. Um, So what what areas do you need to be free in? Um, We can put our hope and our trust in him because he's done it, he's done it for us. So um, sit, rest in that freedom today and have a great day.